Okay, okay, checking back in with the pool pond. Here's the situation, guys. It's been about a week. Well, it's been exactly a week. Nothing's wrong with them. The only problem is that, well, when you look around, you don't really see any. It's not because they're not there. They're all still here. It's just that, well, there's only three of them in an entire pond. They need friends, guys. The crawl is actually in here, oh, in that really? hole. Yeah, I'll try to push him out from the back. Yeah, he's been eating the pepperoni. They've been eating the bread over here. Uh, what was his name? Rodriguez? I forgot now. I did too. <laughs> Ricardo's doing fine, and the two bluegill, well, they're like literally that big. And we really don't know where they are. The plan for today is to go out, trap more minners, possibly a sucker, and more crawdads if possible, and build our aquarium. Because it has stood the test of time. It's been a week. Everything's good. They've not died yet. Which is a good thing. So now we're down at the creek. I have my G's minnow trap. He has his, uh, Adam has his uh, black vinyl. Uh, generic. Yeah, generic trap. Look how it shuts though. It's generic 600. It's, <laughs> it's, just, it's got a, it's got a big gap right there. Eight dollars on eBay. Eight dollars on eBay. Wow. And this one's like what? Twelve dollars. But Adam's gonna set his over here. I'm gonna set mine over here. It has been raining for the last three days. So like, bruh, the water is very muddy and very high. And there is a whole lot of... Yeah, a lot of cow dong, fresh dong too. So watch your step, otherwise you may go home with a heavy foot. And if you're wondering, yes, this is the same place we were ha harassed by a horse fly. I'm gonna show you how to properly place a generic minnow trap. This water, I could probably go swimming in this so deep. Um, I ain't gonna catch nothing. <laughs> you don't think so? No. This is our last chance to find me. Ooh, we go fishing in this. So what I wanna do is, this string's not even long enough. All right, I'm gonna put it right, turn back around. Oh God! <laughs> Don't die! Right there. That should be about as. What's yeah, up with that? What is he doing? Should be about as good as, about as any, I guess. And now I'm gonna set mine right over here on this side. It's a whole lot less current. Hopefully the minners will be biting better. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just hoping at this point. I'm just gonna take a good throw. Oh wow, that was bad. We're gonna do some pendulum action. We're gonna keep swinging it. Oh man. Do not fall in. We will have no content. That's a good spot now, but um. He's having to tie it to the tube. Ah, my leg's cramping. There we go, it ain't going nowhere. If it goes anywhere, they can have it. It's gonna be real high, but we are gonna try to go cast net a sucker fish. Oh my God! Look at that dong! That is massive! But yeah, we are gonna go throw the cast net. That I unboxed in my last video. Check it out if you're not already. The title is, I got a box. Okay, so yeah, we're at the bridge. We've been here, honestly, 40,000 times. But it's a little bit different than y'all have ever saw it. It is super flooded, guys. And I'm talking like the water's way up here. Usually you can see the bottom, but like, well, one, it's muddy. And two, it's deeper just because like, there's a lot more water coming through here. But the one good thing about a cast net is that you're not making them bite anything. They don't have to eat. They don't have to sniff you out. They don't have to see your bait because there is no bait. It's just a cast net and you basically ambush them. We sort of have just as good chances now as we did if the water was completely clear. The only downside to this is there's a lot more water for the fish to be in, which may not be a bad thing. I don't know. Maybe you have to make bigger casts. But this is the four foot radius cast net that I opened in the last video. And here we go. First cast, guys, with the new cast net. Do I still got it? No. no! No! Another stump. There's no way. No, there's no way. There's literally like no way that's possible. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude. That'd been insane. I'd probably just quit casting it. Make sure all the knots is out of it. Grab it up there. Grab it. And sling. Oh, baby. He still got it. We're in business. This is a bigger cast net, and you can tell it too. It takes up a whole lot more area. We may be able to cover water pretty quick with this. We may be able to start catching stuff. Oh, we did not. No way. No way. No way. How do we get a crawdad in a cast? That's what we need, though. That's exactly what we need. Here, um, go get the thing. We have the rubber made. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't either. It's just a cooler. Mom gave it to me. About all I know. Here you go, Kendall. Put your fish in there. How are we gonna get water? That's good. I didn't think about that. There's no way. Not getting any water. Well, it's not made to, you know, go down. It's made to float. That's true. That's pathetic. You need something heavy down there with it. No, get it. Get some water, please. Yeah, he's just crawled at. He really doesn't need much water. No way! We got two! Dude! Dude! Ah! Oh, we got three! No, I'm just kidding. But we did get this thing. We got three crawls, dude. That's insane. This one's only got one pincher. Bro, that's pretty insane, ain't it? That should be enough water, isn't it? Yeah, that's enough. For crawdads, if we get more, we'll just have to figure something else out. Those are big ones, too. They really are, dude. I wonder why. I wonder why. We've never caught them before. They're a different color than that other one from the other creek. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was what? My first or second throw? Oh, uh, no. it was your first. Good one. The big cast net coming in clutch, guys. They're pretty big, too. 
They really are. They're a weird color. I don't know if that cup, if they're that color just because of this creek or if they're that color because of the water color right now. Decent, decent. Not too great, but I had a late release. At least we didn't come empty handed so far. Yeah, for real. We really wanted crawdads because uh, they like to eat pepperonis. And we like <laughs> to eat pepperonis too. That's that's the only reason that we even wanted crawdads because they eat pepperonis. And I feel like Ricardo's kind of getting lonely. Yeah. Not gonna lie. He needs a mate. He does. Uh, Sounds not bad. We got one. No way, dude. We got a miner. We got a stinking miner, dude. Dude, this is crazy. Fire. We're going we're gonna to start coming here more often. We are. When it How floods. am I doing this? That's a miner, too. That's a good miner. That's one of those ones that we don't really know how to identify. Is that the, got the horns on its head? It does. I don't know. Does it? Nope. I don't know. Is that enough water for it? No, it's not. Just, now, see, there's some current over here, which we may be able to drag it back through it and get some. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is a lot of water right there. It's going to be heavy to pull, too. He brought the whole creek with him. I brought him, I bring him up the, Boom. Is that too much? Got it. No, that's good. There you go. Just dump them right there in there. We won't be able to see them right now, but... Well, they're in there. Yeah, we know they're in there. Let's just keep casting that in, guys, because we're on a roll so far. Maybe we can get a sucker. If we do, that'd be crazy. We'll put the lid on it just in case none of them tries to jump out. There we go. Latch it down. We're good to go, guys. Here we go. Mm. Well, bad that throw, ain't going to catch throw. nothing. Bad throw. That ain't catching nothing. That wouldn't catch a blind fist. Or a deaf one. Like you're getting too excited. I do too. All right, Kendall, we gotta concentrate here. Focus. That is a okay. Mm, that's, another, a ma that's a massive crawdad. That's the crawl daddy daddy. That is, like, that's a massive crawdad. There's two of them in here too. We've been catching them two at a time. But that one. Oh that is, my god. That is that is huge. Compare them to the other one right there. Let's see how big he is. Oh, Look at his pinchers. That one's giant. We're, we have five crawdads in our tank right now. Yeah. These are monsters, bro. These are going to look Those awesome in our tank. are monsters. I feel bad for Ricardo. He is no longer the alpha male. <laughs> Boop. There they go. Now we got four crawls in there. We're going to have a crawdad pond instead of a mirror pond. That wasn't even a good throw either. We didn't even get it on camera, but that's okay. Crawdad. Are you letting it hit the bottom? I mean, yeah, but even still, unless they see it this and they try to swim up in the net, I'm not sure how we're catching crawdads. Because those are monsters. And they're crawdads. Like, why are we catching crawls? Next dry day we have, we need to flip some rocks. <laughs> we do. I'm no cow farmer, but I honestly don't think you're a threat, my dude. Pound it. It is, I'm running. Maybe the horse flies will get away from us and go to him. That's that's the best bet. But here we are working over at the first minnow trap. Honestly, I don't know what to expect. Hopefully a crawdad or something. Reach down in here. Oh, we got one. Yes. Yeah, we got one. That's better than none. Not a big one, but you know, maybe some craw food, I guess. Make your best guess how many you got. I'm going to say you got two. I'm going to say two of them just randomly got pushed in by the current. That's what we're hoping anyhow. Hopefully you got a lot though. The trap's moved, ain't it? Oh, okay. you got a bunch, dude. Big one. Better get them over here before they fall out the side crack. I think you got four. Now, guys, remember that mentor trapping tutorial Adam gave you at the beginning of the video? You should have been listening. Get out oh, your notepads. Easy. Follow my simple steps, and you'll be a great mentor trapper like me. That's actually really good. Some well, we got four right there. All right, so we got one out of mine, one out of the creek down there. We have six minors and four crawdads heading home. Now, the video is not over, but if you like this content, if you like the pool ponds and all that stuff, if you like us out here mentor trapping, casting it and stuff, Hit the like button and tell me. And I'll tell you what, I'll give you all an easy go. 5,000 likes and we will come out here until we get us a sucker for this pond. 5,000 and we will be back. With the cast net, of course, because that thing is the bomb.com. <laughs> right now, we're heading back to the house. We're going to put these guys into their new home and see what they think about it. Okay, boys, we're back at the homestead. We got us a cooler full of stinking crawdads, minnows, a little bit of everything. So here, we're going to drop them in, just drop them in. There is the last remaining minnows in there. Now we can start seeing them, guys. We got some on the bottom. Some over there, that crawdad, stinking Ricardo's already guarding his rock. I really hate, I hate to be Ricardo right now. Ricardo's about to get a run for his stinking money. First things first, we're going to put the smallest one in here. He's not small at all. Small. Smallest one compared to Ricardo, I think they're honestly about the same size. Here's Ricardo. No, oh, that's so sad. This is Ricardo, and that is the smallest one that we got out of the creek. Just for a size comparison... Oh, man. Ricardo is by far the smallest one. But at least we can identify him. Okay. There goes Ricardo. There's the other one. Here we go with some of the smallest ones. That is obviously the bigger one. We need to give this guy a name. What? Tonka? Dwayne Johnson? The Rock. The Rock. Yeah. His name is The Rock. So, you know, whenever we talk about The Rock, we're talking about the crawdad that weighs like four pounds. We're going to drop him right there on that brick, and we're going to let him do whatever he wants to. And there they go, guys. He's flipping over right there. And, uh... 
Well, now we have more, we almost have more crawdads than we do fish. And I mean, besides that, guys, like, they're doing really good. I'm just gonna get some of this bread right here, put it on in there for them. Just drop it in right there. If they ever get hungry, they'll find it, guys. I may bring out a little piece of bologna out here, you know, for the crawdads, let them find something. They're just, they're just going crazy. Hey, look at this bluegill. Where? Oh, yeah, he's trying to get under a rock, too. But as for that, guys, I mean, thanks for watching the video. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. 5,000 likes, we'll come back out here. We will continue trying until we get that sucker. Hey, guys, if you liked that video, if you're not already a part of the Grey Gang, go subscribe to him right now. If you want to get some new merch from him, go to kindlegrey1.com slash shop and check out the new American edition that he just dropped. Two verses I want to leave with you. If you have a Bible, go look them up. John 3.15 and John 3.16. Have a great day, guys.